What's good, y'all? Brit Sosa coming back at y'all with another banger, man. And as y'all can see by the looks of the title and the screen, the build that I'm bringing y'all today is the well-rounded guard, y'all. Now, this build, honestly, I'm telling you, reminds me of a Gary Payton build, y'all. Going to be really good, especially to use on the defensive side of things. But honestly, the offense on this build is not bad at all. Now, before we get into the making, man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, y'all. To the Rich Gang family as well as any new supporters. Be sure to run up those likes. Go ahead and turn on post notifications so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Now let's go ahead and get into the making of this build. Now as y'all can see, I definitely had to make it a couple inches taller than an actual Gary Payton build because of the fact that I did not want to be small. I wanted to make this build as tall as I possibly could, y'all. So I ended up going with 6'7". Let's go ahead and get right into it now. The position you want to go ahead and pick first is going to be the shooting guard, y'all. Now I'm sure you can probably make this build out of the point guard. But it might come out to a different build, especially different stats and bad setups, y'all. So that's something you definitely don't want to go ahead and do. When it comes to the height, go ahead and put this build at 6'7". When it comes to the weight, it's really optional. But in my opinion, I'm going to go with 180. I feel like that's really balanced. You could go up a couple if you want to, but honestly, I don't feel like it's worth it. And when it comes to the wingspan, I'm going to go ahead and put it at 7'1", y'all. So after that, it really comes down to the body shape. What kind do you want to pick? And you could honestly pick any one based on your personal preference i'm gonna go with burley now let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of the stats follow these exactly as i'm doing y'all there's a reason why i do every single thing on this build so go ahead and follow when it comes to my driving layup go ahead and put that at 80 when it comes to the driving dunk go ahead and put that at 80 as well and when it comes to the post control go ahead and put that at 79 and when it comes to the standing dunk for badge purposes to get nine Go ahead and put it at 52. Now when it comes to the shooting, what y'all want to go ahead and do here, put your mid-range as well as your three-pointer both to an 82. When it comes to the free throw, go ahead and put this at 90, and that's going to go ahead and give you 13 shooting badges. Now, when it comes to the playmaking, go ahead and put your pass accuracy to a 78. When it comes to the ball handle, go ahead and put this at 79, and we're going to go ahead and max out our speed with ball, and that's going to give us 12 playmaking badges, y'all. Now. When it comes to the defense, go ahead and put your interior up at 74. Perimeter defense is going to go up at 80. Steel is going to go up to a 95, y'all. So pretty much we're getting a 99 steel. Block is going to go up as well to an 87. And when it comes to the rebounding, go ahead and put your defensive up to a 38 for 17 defensive badges. Now, for the physicals, go ahead and put your speed at 87. Acceleration at 84. Go ahead and skip your strength. Vertical is going to go up to a 91, and when it comes to the stamina, you're going to get a 73, y'all. So look at this build, really balanced, especially for the build name. This is going to definitely be the best version possible out of this build, especially with that 99 steel, and you're going to get the pro dribble moves, y'all. Let's go ahead and check out the takeovers. As y'all can see, we get the slashing, sharpshooting, playmaking, and last but not least, the rim protecting, y'all. So you're definitely going to be able to use this build in any game mode as well as still be effective on the floor, y'all. So good thing there. Now, when it comes to the takeovers, it comes down to your preference. The first one that I would go ahead and pick is going to be spot of precision. The second really comes down to preference. In my personal opinion, to be more overpowered, I'm going to go with rim protecting stuff blocks and as y'all can see we have made the well-rounded guard y'all now i'm telling you this build is definitely going to be worth grinding out let's go ahead and check out what this build is going to look like once you max it out as well let's get that gym rat badge so when it comes to the physicals what you want to go ahead and do is put your speed up to a 95 acceleration is going to go up to a 92 vertical is going to be a 99 and their stamina is going to be an 80 y'all when it comes to the block that's going to be a 91 steel is going to be 99 Perimeter defense is going to be an 84 and our interior is going to be a 78. Now when it comes to your speed with ball on the playmaking side, that's going to be 91. When it comes to the ball handle, we're going to be able to get an 83 so we will have the pro dribble moves. When it comes to the shooting, our mid range as well as our 3 pointer are both going to be 86. Free throw is going to be a 94. Post control is going to go up to an 83. And when it comes to both, 
our driving layup as well as our driving dunk these are gonna go up to an 84 y'all so as you can see this build is still super balanced but once you add boost it's definitely gonna take this build over the top add plus five to all of these stats that i just said and i'm telling you gonna make it a completely different build and honestly i can say right now that the thing that i feel like is super clutch is going to be the defense because of that 99 steal so now let's go ahead and get into the bat setup when it comes to the finishing the badges i want to throw on are going to be posterizer on gold as well as heat seeker on hall of fame now with the last two badges you can really run anything you want i would definitely consider slithery on silver but for animation purposes you definitely do want to keep on lob city finisher at least on bronze if you want to go with silver as well there you can do that but any other bronze badges I would consider would be Giant Slayer, Fearless Finisher, or even Acrobat. Now let's go ahead and get into the playmaking. What you want to go ahead and do here. First, I'm going to go ahead and throw on Quick First Step on Gold. From there, you can really consider Floor General if you want to throw it on or even Dimer. I would go the route of Dimer, but look at this different one. You could go with Thanos for days on Hall of Fame as well as Special Delivery. And the last badge, you could go between Bailout or you could even go with Stop and Go as well as Unpluckable. It comes down to your preference as well as your playstyle, but any of these badges are going to be okay to put on Bronze. I feel like Bailout is going to be the best one overall. Now let's go ahead and get into the next set of badges which is going to be the shooting. So first, the badge that I need for every single build that can get it, especially if you're going to be taking shots, is going to be Hot Zone Hunter on Gold. Now you can consider deep threes, but if you're not going to be taking too many shots that are going to be far out, I would leave it off. So the bronze badges that I'm going to throw on are going to be corner specialists, blinders, catch and shoot, clutch shooter, as well as hot shot. Now like I said, y'all can consider deep threes, but if you're not taking too many deep shots, don't put it on. I'm going to definitely throw on hot shot on gold. Corner specialists as well as catch and shoot on silver are going to be essential in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and get into the last set of badges, which is going to be the defense. What you want to go ahead and do here is first put on intimidator on gold from there we have 14 remaining badges so what you want to go ahead and do is put on all the bronze badges that i would consider which are going to be clamps interceptor and chase an artist as well as rim protector you can consider ankle braces but honestly you don't need to put it on so from here i'm going to go ahead and upgrade clamps to gold you could upgrade chase down artist if you want to but i'm not going to go that route i'm going to go with silver ankle braces as well as hall of fame rim protector now the last three badges you can really go any route you want you could even drop down ankle braces to put on another hall of fame badge i would consider heart crusher or even clutch defender it really comes down to how you feel like you're going to play but honestly if you want to even spread the wealth right here you definitely can do that or upgrade any of the current badges that you already have Honestly, there's going to be so many different setups that I'm going to see people run. And I'm going to tell you right now, as long as you are comfortable with the setup that you run, I feel like that's where you're going to be most successful. I'm going to go ahead and leave it up to y'all, but this is a setup we're going to end it off with. 9, 13, 12, and 17. Man, thank y'all so much for coming through, having me a part of y'all day. Just know that this is another step that we are breaking down. We are going to go to the top and I'm going to take the Rich Gang family there with me, man. And best believe that y'all are going to accomplish anything that y'all put y'all mind to, man. Y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. To the Rich Gang family as well as any new supporters, be sure to run up those likes. Go ahead and share this video with your family and friends. And last but not least... Turn on post notice so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.